we undertake this enterprise, of course, from this beautiful little blue and green and white marble in space. Seems big to us if you have to fly to East Asia or something like that, but it's really pretty small. If we put it on the scale of the planets of our solar system, it's like number five. Like it's not the biggest one by any means. It's the biggest of these four little rocky ones that exist close to the sun, but it's much smaller than the four bigger ones that exist farther from the sun. Now here these planets are done to scale and here is the size of the sun, but they're not certainly done to scale in distance. So to get a feeling for this, both the size of the solar system and the size of the rest of the universe, I have some props. So here we have an orange. Now I'm going to let the orange stand for the sun. The sun is in fact about 1.5 million kilometers across, almost a million miles across, but I'm gonna shrink it down to be the size of this orange. Now on that scale, where's the earth? Well, the earth is about half the size of this little grain of sand, and it's 15 feet away from my orange sun. Jupiter is about the size of this pea, and it's about 75 feet away from my orange sun. Neptune out there, the most distant planet, is a couple of city blocks away and is a slightly smaller p. As you can see, it's only about half the size of Jupiter. And the important thing is that the next star, the nearest star, which is very similar to our sun in size and color, so it would be appropriately represented by another orange. If I'm here in my apartment in New York City, the next orange would be in Minneapolis. And there's nothing in between. And in Minneapolis, this little orange sits there being orbited by a couple of its own little grains of sand. And we, on our grain of sand here, have to look at those kinds of distances to understand the cosmos. And there's another orange in San Francisco and one in Costa Rica and one in Tierra del Fuego and one in Moscow and about 250 billion others of them scattered around in our tiny little island that we call our galaxy. 